William Meek was born in Wayne County, Ohio around 1817. He was one of eight children. Early in his life, his family moved to Michigan before eventually settling in Iowa. His father established a mill and dam on the Des Moines River, founding the town known today as Bonaparte, Iowa. William married Sarah Poe around 1838. She was a neighbor and friend of the family. The couple had two children, both who died before reaching the age of two, and in April 1844, William sought and was granted a divorce from Sarah. A year later in 1845, William married Sarah Stone, another daughter of a neighboring family. Sarah gave birth prematurely to their daughter, Sarah Charlotte, just over a year after their marriage on August 24, 1846. Sarah Charlotte was often referred to as Lottie and was William's oldest surviving child. Sadly, but not uncommon for the time, Sarah died during childbirth. It is around this time William decided he had had enough of Iowa. In April 1847, William entrusted his baby girl Lottie to his in-laws the Stones, and with a packed wagon including fruit tree samples, William joined a train headed west to the Oregon Territory. While we have no record of William's journey, within six months of leaving Iowa, and with fruit trees intact, he settled not far from what is Portland, Oregon today. This is where William connected with Henderson Lowelling who was also from Iowa and someone he may have known before moving to Oregon. Together, Meek and Llewellyn decided to go into the nursery business. Like William, Henderson had also brought numerous tree samples with him on his journey west. William bought land near Llewellyn, and before not too long, the two began cultivating fruit trees never before seen on the west coast. On July 28, 1848, William married for a third time when he wed Henderson Llewellyn's 16-year-old daughter, Mary. A few months later, William and his brother-in-law, Alfred, headed for California after hearing of the discovery of gold at Sutter's Mill. Together they tried their hands at gold mining when they arrived in the gold fields on October 30, 1848. Mining was hard work, and though William and Alfred had some success, they returned to Oregon in June of 1849. Upon returning to home, William and Henderson expanded their business to include a new sawmill. Soon Mary gave birth to a son, Andrew Jackson Meek, born in June 1850. But tragically, Mary died only six months later of typhoid. So once again, William had gained a child and lost a wife. But only two years later, his young son died as well. Perhaps grief-stricken, it is at this point William sends word to his former in-laws, the Stones, who are in California by this time, asking them to send his daughter Lottie to him in Oregon. Around 1854, both William and Henderson visit California. For William, this was also most likely a visit to the Stone family who were also in the area. Henderson's brother, John Llewellyn, was already establishing his own farm and nursery in San Lorenzo. Following the visit, Henderson decided to move to California permanently, eventually settling for a time in Oakland. He sold his portion of the business to one of his son-in-laws and left Oregon for good while William remained. It is at this time that the business partnership of William Meek and Henderson Llewellyn is dissolved. In 1856, William married his fourth and final wife, Fidelia Stone, the younger sister of his second wife, Sarah. Presumably, Fidelia helped raise William's daughter, Lottie, after William left her in his in-law's care. William and Fidelia corresponded with each other before their marriage, with William confessing his love to Fidelia in August 1855. William moved his family to California in 1859 for business prospects and perhaps as well to be closer to the Stone family. In the 1860 census, the Meeks were living in Contra Costa County in the Lafayette Alamo area, but William was already buying land in the Hayward area. By 1866, he had over 2,000 acres of land cultivating primarily grains such as wheat, oats, and barley 
but by 1868, Williams' land grew to more than 3,000 acres, where he began planting fruit trees along with his grains, livestock, and other produce. It is during this time that William and his family were likely living on a portion of the San Lorenzo property in a modest house along Llewellyn Boulevard, which is named after John Llewellyn, the brother of William's old business partner, Henderson, who lived a short distance from where the Meek family settled. William and Fidelia had five children together. Corey Wertmeek, born 1857 in Oregon, as well as Silas Meek in 1859. Sadly, Silas died in 1863 and was buried at the San Lorenzo Pioneer Cemetery. The next three children were all born in California. Susanna Gertrude in 1864, William Willie Ellsworth in 1866, and finally Ethel Fidelia in 1874. In 1869, William built a grand home for his large and growing family. While it's not known who built or designed the mansion, there were many builders and architects building similar homes in cities like Oakland and San Francisco at the time. The original footprint of the mansion was about 7,000 square feet and had 19 rooms over its three floors. The cost is estimated to be around $27,000 to build, furnish, and landscape. To compare it to the present, this would have been about $550,000. The first big event on record at the mansion was the marriage of Lottie Meek to Frank Hinckley in May of 1870. Reports remarked that her wedding dress was a pale lavender gray silk with a parasol and shoes made of the same material. Lottie certainly dressed befitting her father's wealth and stature in the community. Frank Hinckley would comment that Lottie dressed very elegantly for a poor man's wife. From there, the couple moved briefly to Oregon. Then, with two children in tow, Frank and Lottie moved back into Williams' mansion around 1872. At that time, Frank took over as foreman for William Meek's vast estate. After a short time, William felt the mansion was getting too crowded, so he built Frank and Lottie a cottage for them adjacent to the mansion. It became known as the Hinckley Cottage. While best known as an agriculturalist, William Meek was also an active participant in the community. Some of his positions included Alameda County Supervisor representing Eden Township from 1862 to 1865, President of the Agricultural Society of Alameda County, Director of the Brighton Market Association, Chairman of the Board of the Jockey Club, later the Haywards Trotting Association, San Lorenzo Elementary School District School Board member, Regent of the University of California from 1874 to 1878, Trustee for Mills College, Trustee for the San Lorenzo Creek Water Company, and Founding Director of the short-lived H.A. Coal Mine Company. In December 1880, William Meek passed away. A description of William Meek in a January 1, 1881 obituary described William as having a sunny smile characteristic of the man and that the burden of wealth rested lightly upon him. William's body lay in repose in an ornate casket in the eastern wing of his mansion. A procession then followed the casket to the San Lorenzo Pioneer Cemetery. All stores in San Lorenzo closed for the day and flags flew at half-mast in his honor. William's last will and testament divided his more than 3,000 acre estate among the family. Half of his land and mansion went to his wife Fidelia. The remaining half was divided evenly among his five children. His oldest son, Hori Meek, managed all aspects of the division. Only a few months prior to William's death, he fired his son-in-law, Frank Hinckley, and kicked him and Lottie out of the cottage. William wanted to ensure that his eldest son, Hori, took over as foreman of the estate and gave him the former Hinckley Cottage to live in. Hori Meek lived a charmed life as the son of one of Alameda County's wealthiest men. He began attending the University of California in 1875. He played second base on his fraternity baseball team despite not being good enough to play on the university team. He was, however, described at the time as a popular and friendly young man. Horry graduated in 1877 with a degree in mining. 
he would never get the chance to put that degree to use. Instead, he was destined to take over his father's San Lorenzo estate. Prior to becoming a foreman, he was put in charge of the fruit department, learning the ropes from the laborers in the fields. He was also active in the community, helped establish a local baseball team, was an avid hunter, and organized horse races. In business, Horry followed in his father's footsteps. Along with his brother Willie, he managed the agricultural operation of the family holdings and headed the company which constructed the Oakland, San Leandro, and Hayward's electric rail line. He also donated land to the Union High School District to build Hayward's first high school, served as president of the Bank of Hayward's, and was instrumental in bringing Hunt's Cannery to Hayward. In May of 1884, Horry's days as a bachelor ended when he was married to Harriet Webb. She was the daughter of a neighboring farmer, Captain Otis Webb, a wealthy and influential man in his own right. Together, they had three children, William Harold, born 1885, Gladys, 1887, and Harriet, 1889. Fidelia would continue to live in the mansion with Horry's younger siblings, while he and Harriet would continue to live in the Hinckley Cottage. Fidelia Meek passed away and was buried with William at the San Lorenzo Pioneer Cemetery in 1891. Her obituary described her as always kind and hospitable, with a tender and lovable disposition. She was a founding member of Eden Congregational Church and a longtime member of Union Church of San Lorenzo. She also helped in the founding of a short-lived local chapter of the Women's Christian Temperance Union in 1883. Among her many acts of philanthropy, Fidelia gave generously to the old ladies' home in Oakland and funded scholarships for Mills College. After his mother's death, Horry and his family moved into the mansion. During this time, the main house was staffed with maids for both upstairs and downstairs, as well as a cook. Family meals were attended by Hori, Harriet, and their three children, with most of the meal contents being produced on the ranch. Hori's daughter Gladys would recall in an interview that the meat and fish were brought to the area by Chinese peddlers known as the Basket Brigade, named because of the baskets they used to carry their goods. For entertainment, there was a racetrack where members of the family could watch their horses practice their speed on Saturdays. Likewise, riding one of the many horses on the farm was one of the favorite pastimes of the meek children. They would often take riding trips to San Lorenzo, San Leandro, and Hayward. In terms of home entertainment, the meek parents would throw a party once a month, inviting all of their friends and family to come and stay at the house for the weekend. As many as 14 people would come to stay at a time. The party, however, would not last. On January 22, 1910, Hori Meek died suddenly at the home of his daughter Harriet, just days before his other daughter Gladys was to be married. She would marry a few months later in a quiet ceremony at the mansion. Horry's funeral took place in the drawing room of the mansion with longtime employees serving as his pallbearers. A special train brought mourners to the gathering. Harold Meek now had control over the estate, though by now the operations were smaller as land had been sold off and subdivided. Harold and his wife Marguerite Meherin lived in the Hinckley Cottage until sometime in the 1920s, while Harriet would continue to use the mansion as her main residence. Together, Harold and Marguerite had two children, William Harold Jr., born 1918, and John, also known as Jack, born 1920. Later in life, Jack would recall his father as being a gentleman farmer, not really expanding the family business. Marguerite Meek would die after a short illness in the mansion's solarium in May of 1931. Seven months later, Harold remarried. 
He was wed to Myrtle LeMater in December of 1931. Harold moved his family to Knight's Landing and later to Woodland, California. The mansion and the last 10 acres surrounding it were put up for sale in 1940 for $30,000 that today would be just over half a million dollars and was purchased by Dr. Milton Ream in 1941. And after three generations, the Meek family no longer occupied the grand mansion and estate that William Meek had built for his family. The Ream family lived in the mansion until 1964 when the house was purchased by the Hayward Area Recreation District. 2019 marks 150 years since the construction of the mansion and estate, so we warmly welcome you to Meek Mansion on this 150th anniversary. <music>